In the last decade, the Vertical Flight Society has documented over 800 participants joining the advanced air mobility segment. Fueled by substantial investments from venture capital, private equity, specs, automotive companies and traditional aerospace OEMs, the vertical lift technology continues to ascend. And today, we'll be reporting on its most prominent advances. We welcome you to check out the second episode covering 2024 news about VTOLs of the future. So subscribe to Automotive Territory, ring the bell and enjoy your flight! Orkin GTL 915IS This two-seater aircraft from the Polish manufacturer Lotnica is the company's take on a new generation gyrocopter that has an enclosed cabin, higher performance and improved passenger comfort. The model is a cross between a helicopter and a fixed-wing airplane that is propelled by a rear-mounted, empty propeller powered by a 141 HP Rotex engine. On the roof, it also has a non-powered Rotortech rotor that generates lift and comes made from Kevlar and carbon fiber. The GTL 915IS can fly as high as 23,000 feet, at cruising speeds reaching 112 miles per hour. It also carries 120 liters of gasoline stored in two integrated fuel tanks. This should be enough to keep the GTL flying for six hours. Optionally, you can extend the range by adding two extra tanks, though those will be mounted externally. With fuel on board, the Argon weighs 672 pounds. However, it can carry nearly its weight and payload, 650 pounds to be exact. Surprisingly for such a small aircraft, Argo's cargo compartment can fit larger items like foldable bikes, skis and full-size suitcases. Lilium Jet Pioneer Edition Unlike the majority of VTOL startups, Lilium based their flying technology on the same principles used by 95% of commercial aircraft. The simple but genius ducted electric vector thrust is a proprietary technology from Germans that has been refined through five generations of Lilium jets. The final design will rely on 36 ducted tilt rotors, 6 on each of the two front canards and 12 on each rear wing. For its battery tech, Lilium will be implementing the pack with the silicon-dominant anode from Ironbox. It is claimed to possess higher density and will support the 900V architecture of the aircraft more efficiently. The total power generated by the jet is 320kW. This would be sufficient to fly at 162 knots to the distance of up to 150 nautical miles. The recent press release by Lilium claims that they have the world's only powered lift EVTOL aircraft with both ESAA and FAA certification. The next step would be to finalize the tests of the DEVT technology on the full-size Succeed Pioneer Edition. This aircraft would have a true business jet cabin with large windows, comfortable lounge seats and room for cargo. Xpeng X2 Xpeng's aeronautic division is close to mass-producing their electric passenger drone with the Middle East becoming a testbed for the technology. In 2023, this carbon fiber quadcopter continued demonstration flights in Dubai in order to refine the final safety measures. The latest fifth generation of the X2 can fly as high as 1000 meters with the endurance of 35 minutes and the top speed of about 50 miles per hour. The vertical takeoff and landing capability are facilitated by eight motors, eight propellers and no wings. This expands its operational possibilities, but a challenge of a mid-flight battery failure remains. To tackle this problem, AeroHD recently showcased a video demonstrating its multi-parachute safety system successfully landing the Xpand X2 from a mere height of 50 meters. This innovative system employs explosives to expedite the deployment of four parachutes, allowing them to fully inflate within seconds. The Xpeng X2, also known as the Voyager, is expected to hit the international heliports in 2024 with a price tag from at least $150,000. Whisk Arrow Gen 6 Revealed in October 2022, the 6th generation Whisk aircraft 
abandons the core nameplate and presents a production intent version of the model. This four-seat air taxi acquired a raised wing, grew in wingspan to 50 feet, and aims to fly at 2500 to 4000 feet altitudes. As before, the aircraft is fully electric and was designed to maximize safety and accessibility. The WISC Gen 6 has a total of 12 motor propeller combos, 6 reserved exclusively for VTO operations and 6 larger tilting 5-blade units that ensure forward flight. There is no aft propulsor, so the thrust comes from the forward rotors. Having multiple propellers allows for safe landing even if one or more fails, plus the model comes equipped with a whole aircraft ballistic parachute. The propulsion system is used by a battery array of unknown capacity that promises 90 miles of flight and exceptionally fast recharge time of 15 minutes. Another important aspect about the model is its autonomous flight capabilities. The Gen 6 requires no pilot and is operated autonomously with minimum human oversight. By smashing the like button, you will ensure a constant flow of videos covering aircraft of all kinds, propulsion systems and sizes. You can also ask for more in the comment section below. Let's keep flying! Rotor X Dragon Rotor X Aircraft is one of the few companies in the world that offer affordable flying kits that can be assembled at home. By partnering with defense contractor Advanced Tactics, they will be further changing the concept of outdoor recreation. This time, it is not a two-seater do-it-yourself helicopter, but a personal air vehicle that carries one. According to the FAA's regulation, the Dragon falls into the category of an ultralight EVTOL aircraft, allowing individuals to operate it without a pilot's license. If you weigh under 250 pounds and know how to operate a drone, then the Dragon will open up to the dimension of limitless fun. But if you read the fine script, there will be a limit of 20 minutes per flight, with the speeds reaching 63 miles per hour. The lift for the Dragon is ensured by 8 electric 16 kW motors with easily swappable batteries to spend less time on the ground. The Rotor XVTOL will take about two weeks to assemble. And to make sure that even amateur flyers are safe in the air, the craft will be equipped with reinforced aluminum landing gear, hands-free hover mode, auto takeoff and landing system, and surely a ballistic parachute for the direst of the in-flight accidents. Ehang EH-216 According to Advanced Air Mobility Reality Index, the Guangzhou-based Ehang is the current leader in the race towards becoming the first company to introduce a passenger VTOL into service. Instead of waiting for the technology to catch up, the Chinese settled on a scaled-up conventional drone design. But instead of mounting a camera dongle, they installed a two-person passenger cabin. The Ehang 216 EVTOL multicopter was designed for autonomous operation and will be offered in three versions for roof hopping, sightseeing, final destination deliveries, and even firefighting. The standard 216 has a cruise speed of 81 miles per hour and just 10 miles of range. 216S with a larger 17 kWh battery extends the range to 22 miles. Its flight endurance equals to 21 minutes but cruise speed was limited to 16 mph. And finally, there will be the Ehang EH216L modification, which is basically a large delivery drone. Horizon Aircraft Cavarite Established in 2013, the Toronto-based Horizon Aircraft first started out as a developer of a hybrid electric seaplane labeled X3. The project was later ended, but the company used the expertise gained and ideas accumulated to design a fixed-wing VTOL aircraft capable of forward flight and runaway takeoff and landing. Named Cavrite X5, it is a stunning five-seater with a V-tail, retracting landing gear and carbon composite fuselage. The model has gullwing passenger doors and a sliding canopy for the pilot. The X5 is brought into motion by a gasoline electric system where the battery is recharged in flight by the gasoline engine and can be used to safely finish your flight and land if the engine malfunctions. 
The setup consists of 17 propellers linked to 17 motors. 16 ducted fans are responsible for the VTOL flight, and the one pusher propeller is used to move forward. In 2022, the company built a 50% scale version of the X5, and this year, Horizon Aircraft announced that they will be building a full size model as a larger X7 aircraft, replacing the X5 moniker. It will offer 1,500 pounds of payload, have a gross weight of 5,500 pounds, and will accommodate two more passengers. The new cap rights will also target improved range and cruise speed parameters of 500 miles and 280 miles per hour. Aura Guardian G1 California-based startup Aura Aerospace first revealed the 18th scale prototype of the Guardian back in 2018. The evolved generation G1 is built on an extruded aluminum airframe with polycarbonate cabin, canopy over cockpit window, and no landing gear. The G1's body has angular lines with a total of 12 propellers mounted on the side beams. There is also the 13th pusher propeller located on the rear vertical stabilizer. Each of the propellers gets its own electric motor, fed by the brand's proprietary battery system called Aura Power Cell. It contains no cobalt and is 90% recyclable. In 2021, the company started testing the ultralight single-seat version of the aircraft built in full scale. The G1 managed to perform successful takeoff, hover, and landing, though there was one fire incident reported in mid-2022. According to the latest news, the next step in the evolution of the Guardian is the launch of its new generation 3-passenger version that is currently under development. Plana Aero After lifting up Hyundai's early EVTOL program, Braden J. Kim resigned and created his own company with a starting piggy bank of 10 million bucks. Their early concept renderings are showing a unique aircraft with a single wing and a pair of front canards that are carrying a total of six fully tilting, five-blade rotors. For the ambitious goal to have 271 nautical miles or 500 kilometers of range, Plana Aero will be using an e-hybrid propulsion system. Supposedly, this hexacopter will be able to carry up to six passengers with a max speed of 189 knots. Additionally, four-passenger lounge and cargo cabin layouts are under development, but the company's major goal is to sell a jet-like experience with improved travel costs and faster mission completion. The aircraft will be operated by a single pilot, while occupants will enjoy comfortable seats with individual lighting, air conditioning, wireless chargers, table trays for laptops, and screens with a flight info. Plana's plan involves the construction of a demonstrator aircraft by 2024, followed by the production of a fully certified machine by 2028. Xpeng VTOL Supercar Xpeng subsidiary AeroHD continue to expand their research and development operation within the field of flying cars. They introduced an evolved version of the VTOL concept from 2021. This revolutionary supercar flyer got an actual physical mock-up. Unlike its predecessor that used a two-arm design with large propellers, this unit is equipped with a more practical four-arm system with eight coaxially mounted propellers. While grounded, all of this gear is concealed under the vehicle's elongated roof. But before the takeoff, Xpeng Supercar unfolds its quadcopter-like propulsion system, retracts the steering wheel, and replaces controls with a joystick. Despite heavy use of innovative lightweight materials, this all-electric VTOL is expected to weigh at least 2 tons, and lacking wings for traditional lift, it's unlikely to have more than 50 miles of range. But hey, at least it looks super cool, resembles an actual car, has a multi-parachute rescue system, and originally was promised to cost just $150,000. Before you go, make sure to watch the first volume of this video, covering yet another dozen of new VTOL aircraft. The links will be on the screen and in the description. Smash the like button and leave a comment below asking for more videos about all sorts of flyers. 
subscribe to Automotive Territory and ring the bell. As always, may the torque be with you!